Hi, it's Lou Manfredini, ACES Home Expert. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use plumber's putty, specifically a plumber's putty roll, when you're installing something like a drain assembly. This is a kitchen drain assembly. You would use plumber's putty to install something like this in a kitchen sink or maybe a vanity sink. Uh, sometimes plumber's putty is used for installing faucets, but keep in mind that on certain countertops, you want to be mindful of using it. Make sure that the countertop is compatible with plumber's putty because it can stain the surface. But in this respect, uh, it's going to work out just fine. So here I've got a stainless steel sink, and you can see there's no drain assembly whatsoever. This drain assembly uh, comes apart. There's a threaded ring here that's going to go under the sink. This washer will also go under the sink. But then this portion that will actually go into the sink like this, the plumber's putty goes underneath this ridge because as you tighten it, that's what seals the drain assembly to the sink. All right, so on the underside of the drain assembly here, you see that this, this roll is kind of pre-cut and has a thickness there. The, the trick when it comes to plumber's putty is you have to put enough of it on there so that it actually squeezes out. So I'm just gonna press this into place and come around, okay, as I rotate the drain assembly. And you wanna make sure that it's right in that crease between this edge and this top portion here. Because once I start to tighten it from the bottom, you're gonna see that the plumber's putty is going to kind of squeeze out. So I'm just gonna keep coming around and kind of overlap and then because it's a putty you're just going to break it like that then the paper you're just going to remove okay now I want to make sure that this is all in place so with my fingers I'm going to kind of just almost feels like uh, you know clay or like a silly putty type of thing but you want to get that in that gap right there now I'm going to take the assembly and I'm just gonna drop it inside, okay? Now, you know, you wanna orient this the right way. You know, this is sort of my uh, preference is that that little gap where the actual drain is gonna go in, you know, is gonna sit like that, so I want it to be, look good. And then you're just gonna kinda press it in place. Now on this drain assembly, it has a rubber washer and this large ring, this threaded ring. This is gonna go up on the bottom of the sink and the rubber is gonna go between the ring and the drain assembly and you're gonna tighten it using a large pair of channel locks like this or a pipe wrench. But be careful, you wanna get it nice and snug and as you tighten it, you're gonna see the putty coming up from the top. All right, with the nuts started, I'm just gonna be using my hands to sort of tighten it. Now keep in mind that once you start to snug this down and use the channel locks, this is gonna to wanna to rotate on you. But the whole idea is we just wanna get that putty to start to squeeze out of there. You want it tight, but you don't wanna over tighten it. Okay, so you see all that putty that came up? That's a good thing. Then what I do is I take a little skewer here and start to just tuck it away. And you may notice that even after you use the sink a little bit, more of it comes up. What I would do to test to make sure that it doesn't leak is you put this in, put a couple inches of water in the sink, you know, let it hold there, look underneath, check the connection, but that's once all the drain assemblies put together and that's it. Coming up next, my video on how to clean a stainless steel sink. 